Welcome to Tax Insights, presented by Hawkins Ash CPAs. And good morning, listeners. Welcome back to Tax Insight here on the Lakeshore's Good Neighbor WOMT every week with Jeff from Hawkins Ash. Jeff, good morning, sir. Good morning, Terry. Hey, where's my refund? Yeah, you know, because we talked in the past while paying your taxes electronically and having those refunds direct deposited, yes. you know, right into your bank account. And, you know, I want to continue to recommend doing both of those. So today, like you mentioned, um, let's say you filed your return and chose direct deposit. Now is the time that you're going to be like, all right, where's my refund and when's it going to be deposited? And there's tools on the IRS and state websites that'll tell you when you can expect that refund. So today, that's what I want to talk about, the Where's My Refund app. All right, so first and foremost, I think the question everybody wants to know is, how fast will refunds come? And it really, it depends on how you file your return. So if you paper file your return, you're looking at six to eight weeks. And with the things at the IRS, that might even be generous, the eight weeks. If you e-file it and just get a paper check, you're probably looking at three plus weeks. But if you use electronic file and you use direct deposit, generally it's like 10 to 14 days. So probably around two weeks. Interesting. Are most people nowadays doing direct deposits? They are because not only does your refund come quicker, but it's a more secure way to get it. You don't have to worry about the check getting lost in the mail or the extra processing time that it just takes the IRS to print and send a paper check. So where can I find this Where's My Refund app? You can go right to the IRS website, irs.gov, and click on the Get Your Refund Status option. Now, you're going to need to enter your Social Security number, your filing status, and the refund amount. Um, And once you do this, it'll let you know when your refund is going to be expected. You can do the same thing on your state's website. I think just about every single state has the same type of um, lookup tool available. Now, the one thing to remember is, is that they only update these websites just once a day. So if you look at it in the morning, it's not going to pay for you to look again until the next morning to see where your refund is. Gotcha. Makes sense. When will this information actually be on this website? So as soon as you file your return, if you do it electronically, within about 24 hours, you're going to start getting information on where your return is in the process. And if you paper file your return, that information is going to be available on the website, but not for like four to six weeks. Okay. So what things can delay, let's say, you know, the refund actually coming? There's a couple things. So the, the first one is that, you know, the financial institution could just reject the deposit or it could be pulled for either identity theft or errors that are on the return. So you mentioned that a financial institution may reject the deposit. Explain that because why would the bank actually reject this? This is mostly due to user error, to be perfectly honest, because it's probably errors with, you know, the account number or the routing number. And deposits, direct deposits can really only go into the account where the names match. So like if you have a child's refund, it should go into the child's account, not into the parent's account, because sometimes that can get um, rejected because the names don't match. And then one of the things that they've done in the past to kind of curb some of the fraud that was going on is they only allow three deposits to come into the same bank account because you know what fraudsters were doing is they were filing a whole bunch of returns having them all go into this one bank account which they would then sweep close the account and then move on to another bank account so uh, irs stopped that Uh, and if any of this stuff kind of happens to you the irs will essentially issue a paper check but once again you're waiting the four to six weeks yeah jeff time is running out here but i do want to ask you one final question And this could actually work to maybe your advantage, but what if the deposit amount is is different than what the return shows? Yeah, so the IRS will send you a notice later that it kind of explains what happened, what the difference is between the return that you filed and the return that was actually deposited in your account. Now, the biggest thing is probably for this year going to be um, changes that they made to the advanced child tax credits that people received, or maybe the stimulus amounts, and they just weren't correct on the returns. Sometimes the you know calculation is incorrect. Sometimes their estimates don't match, um, and sometimes it's just that your refund was offset due to you know prior year federal or state taxes, child support, uh, spousal support, even past due student loans. So those are the things that can make your refund different than what you expected it to be. 
Jeff, a lot of great information each and every week here in Tax Insight. For those listeners that want to connect with the team at Hawkins Ash, what is the best way of doing that? I would go right to our website, which is hawkinsash.cpa. And we'll talk to you next week here on WOMT. This has been Tax Insights, presented by Hawkins Ash CPAs. Learn more online at hawkinsashcpas.com. Hawkins Ash CPAs, part of your business, part of your life.